हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर एजुकेशन आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी सो द डे इम्पोर्टेंट डे ऑफ योर लाइफ इज कमिंग टुमारो ओके दैट इज योर ए टी सी एग्जाम ए टी सी जेई एग्जाम सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव प्रिपेयर्ड वेल फॉर दिस एग्जाम ओके एंड यू विल डू योर बेस्ट इन टुमारोज एग्जाम सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू अकॉर्डिंग टू माई ओपिनियन ओके यू मे हैव सम डिफरेंट स्ट्रेटेजी ओके so according to my opinion what can be the best strategy to write the exam which if you follow uh, if you will follow that strategy during the exam so definitely uh, there may be some benefit and your score may in, uh, definitely increase okay so what strategy i think okay you know uh, in this exam uh, we have questions from uh, gs section so there are 10 questions from gs section then uh, english so 20 questions from english and then quant so we have uh, 15 questions from quant and uh, from reasoning we have 15 questions and uh, mathematics we have 30 questions and then physics we have 30 questions so total we have 120 questions okay so how should we proceed in exam the very first important point you should remember that your performance in exam okay your performance in exam uh, varies according to your confidence level okay so your confidence level and then your number of questions okay or performance number of questions you are solve number of correct questions you solve so this you can see a linear relationship or exponential relationship so overall it will increase with this okay more confidence level more number of questions you are able to solve in the exam remember okay so when you will see uh, questions so maybe that first question is very tough second question is very tough maybe you don't know suppose so your uh, confidence level will immediately uh, degrade okay it will reduce so that is important point don't let your confidence level reduce okay don't let it go down okay uh, you do one thing just with relaxed mind okay no tension should be there in your mind and no worry about your future no worry about result all these things should not come in your mind during the exam okay just be relaxed okay first of all you do you go to the gs section okay so in gs section uh, there are two cases whether we do not know the answer or we do, we know the answer two possibility so if you know the answer of the question by looking at the question immediately it will come you to, to your mind that you know the answer of this this is the answer so just tick that save that okay submit karo answer ko usko save karke theek hai na save kar lo usko wahan pe click karke right now uh, so read all the questions of this gs section first okay first and uh, tick all the questions in which you are highly confident that it is the right answer and uh, there is no negative marking so ultimately you have to fill all the answers okay you have to solve all the questions in exam because there is no negative marking but don't do this activity initially first of all you only tick those questions here which you know clearly and in which you have some doubt confusion don't click that question okay leave that for some time right now after gs section immediately go to english section number 2 in english section just see whether you know the answer if there is something antonym synonym some word you can easily read the question you can easily think about the answer if you know the answer immediately tick that if you don't know the answer if you have some confusion don't fill that right that time okay leave that first of all only those in which you are comfortable now after solving gs and english third thing you go to this mathematics section third because in mathematics also we have very simple questions okay and most of the students have prepared well for mathematics so in mathematics see the questions which are very easy by looking at the question you can tick the answer okay only uh, and there may be some small calculation required and you can solve that immediately correctly so if you are confident solve that questions okay solve such questions in which 
less calculation is required or directly you can take the answer okay so solve those questions from this and if you see that this question may take some time okay don't solve that question that time okay leave that now go to this uh, physics section in physics section also there may be some theoretical question okay whose answer you can easily tick so first you tick that answer which you can easily know which you easily know the answer okay tick that and if there is some numerical problem don't do that that time okay just simple answer you have to tick which you know theoretical answers now after this you move to quant section in quant section there may be some little tough question or very easy question suppose question is from percentage you know the concept suppose question is from ratio and proportion you know easily you can solve and it will take very less time so solve all questions in this quant section don't solve tough questions don't solve such question in which you have some confusion now next is reasoning so go to reasoning section see the easy question there solve them okay don't solve any question which may take more time which may confuse you just easy question about which you are very comfortable so okay so after following this strategy you will see that you have a lot of questions in your hand in your bucket okay so remember one more characteristic that uh, more number of questions you have solved okay number of solved questions and the confidence level so if you plot the graph so if you have more questions in your bucket then automatically your confidence will increase and then your brain will work more effectively and it will attract all the things which you have earlier studied okay and you will be able to answer more questions so now after this again go to uh, this six number okay so reasoning you have solved questions now again go to physics section now okay seventh is physics see there is some numerical which can be solved may take some small time try that solve that okay now similarly after this go to this math section see the questions which can take some small time but can be solved solve that take that okay now it is free hand now you can start from anywhere okay and looking for other questions which can be answered by your knowledge okay so first of all you see all the questions which can be answered using your knowledge and last okay during the last 15 minutes be careful okay now you have to guess the answers okay so last 15 minutes go to gs section see if you can recollect the things you can recollect the concept if you are able take that if you not you don't have any idea still take that okay whatever come to your mind okay take that because there is no negative marking so definitely you have to take the answer okay and then similarly go to english then again come to reasoning give some time to those questions which can be solved by taking some time okay solve them and then revolve around the whole paper and look for all questions which can be solved and last 15 minutes you have to just guess the answer okay for those whose answer you are not sure you don't have any idea so don't forget to tick all the answers okay and don't keep any thing for review just at last stage submit your all answers and then submit okay so this is strategy if you will follow definitely uh, there will be benefit and the most important point don't waste much time on any question in every exam a lot of students uh, do this big mistake that uh, a question patak jayenge usko karte rahenge karte rahenge 15 minute 20 minute usi pe laga denge wahan pe ego pe le lete hain they take it on their ego that are ye question hai isko solve karke manunga pura ek ghanta lag jaye koi dikkat nahi iska answer zarur nikalunga aur utni der mein aapka jo watch hai clock hai wo move kar raha hai time bahut sare nikal jayega to wahan pe kisi bhi question ko ego pe nahi lena dil pe nahi lena theek hai na hota hai to theek hai nahi hota to tukka to wahan pe lag hi sakta hai ठीक है इस स्ट्रेटजी को फॉलो करो और आराम से जाओ और एग्जाम के बाद जो भी वहां पे परफॉर्म करके आए हो बिना किसी टेंशन के रिलैक्स करो कल का पूरा दिन उसके बाद और एंजॉय करो जहां भी नई जगह अगर आप गए हो इफ यू गोन टू सम अदर प्लेस विजिट दो प्लेसेस ओके एंजॉय योर डे इन द इवनिंग टाइम एंड देन आफ्टर वन और टू डे ब्रेक अगेन डिसाइड योर नेक्स्ट गोल 
that you have to do what thing okay result will be announced so uh, you don't wait for the result that will come at their time but keep studying for other examinations in your queue okay because if you are not selected in this exam definitely there is something uh, some other thing for you everyone has some destination okay everyone will get some uh, career in life okay maybe uh, of the, their choice or not of their choice but you will do any any everyone will do something in life so don't take it much seriously right all the best